Jesse Mel Shai. The men that get life for the truth. Daniel Howard Shai survives first. The wants of elders and great millstone that told me the truth. I was supposed to have the genes of the house of David, 144,000. And one third men, women, and children as part of the elect. Second, 70 degrees. I never heard of anything like this in the show. I never heard of this type of weather in my life, yo. This kind of weather. After one half mile. It's proving that we at the end, man. There's no there's no there's no doubt. There's no doubt if you doubt about it that we at the end. about it that we had the end. You know, for the weather to be for this weather for this weather to be that crazy in this time of year it shows that we had the end man. And here it is this devil's doing all type of wickedness man. You know this devil's doing all types of wickedness fucking with the fucking with the earth. That's what this devil's doing fucking with the earth. You know? Yeah, we're, we're definitely at the end, man. There's no doubt about it, we're at the end. 70 degrees. They say it's gonna be today. Interesting. And you know what? And, and, and the crazy part, and the crazy part about it, the real crazy part about all this is that nobody's, nobody's looking at it like, damn, like, what the hell is going on? You know? Nobody's looking at the weather and, and questioning it, you know? Nobody's questioning the weather, only the enlightened ones. The ones in the know know it, right? But it's just eerie. It's just very eerie how... It's very eerie how people see what's going on. It's in their face, the weather's fucked out. And people still, like... They're still, like, in zombie mode, you know? They got this Dia de la Muerte spirit on they have the dead spirit on man. We had that time, man. You know? Take a... Take a... Uh, uh, 70 degree weather in November. That will make people want to question you with things already. That will make people want to inquire. People don't care at all, man. They don't, they don't care. That's a scary ass thing, man. You know? That's scary as hell to be that damn stupid, man. To be that goddamn stupid, man. But the most sad, the most sad about this world is space, man. Shut it down, shut it down, shut it down. These people got spirits on them, man. These Israelites, they don't, they don't know what the hell is going on, man. 70 degree weather. 70 degree weather, November 2nd. Then on November 4th, you got this freaking EMP trailer, this blackout, that's supposed to come about in the midst of this Antifa. Which Antifa said, they're ready for war, man. This revolution. You know? And that's these devils behind all that shit. They're the ones doing this, man. These devils are the ones that are promoting all this witchcraft and stuff, man. They're getting ready to get some amazing. And I heard at night, it's supposed to be here at night. You can't see what you're 
tomorrow too.
of like the way that we got told this shit. So the weather being all crazy and shit, you gotta really see these things. And look at it in the spiritual eye. After one half mile, take the exit right, ten, down the highway 514. You gotta really see it for what it is. You know? These devils are scared, man. It's a joke. You think it's a game? You think we're doing these videos for for, for, for fucking for, for jokes and for uh, laugh? You guys that's not taking this truth serious. You guys out, out there that's been in truth for years. If you're not taking this thing serious. The Most High is gonna deal with you, man. What's up, brother? It's crazy, right? Hey, it's better than snowing, man. Yeah, yeah, take care of yourself, man. You're good. Yeah. Take the exit right, County Highway 514. Yeah, we at the end. Man. Center. We definitely gotta be at the end, you know? Like I said before, you brothers right out there that's not, that's not on fire for this thing, man. Don't worry about it, fire is coming, man. Hey, the fire is coming. Whether you ready or not, the Lord don't give a fuck. The Lord's about to bring the kingdom. Yeah, we are, we are almost home. You can feel it, man. The demons are getting stronger. The heaviness is getting thicker. It's getting stronger. You know? That's these devils for you, man. After one quarter mile, they're right. That's these devils. That's these devils for you, man. Into that type of shit, these devils gotta go down. These devils have to go down. There's no uh, and ifs or buts about it. They gotta go down, man. They gotta go down, man. These devils are literally fucking up the planet Earth. These raw childs are fucking up the planet Earth. You think this is crazy that this is happening in the midst of one of the highest satanic holidays in America, in Babylon? Yeah, it's gonna get really worse. This ain't nothing. You know? Nothing surprises me, man. Nothing surprises us. You know? The Lord. Nothing, man. Nothing surprises us. People are fucking stupid, man. People are fucking really stupid, man. The stupidity of people is ridiculous, man. The stupidity of people is amazing, man. And it's scary too. That's why the Lord said, 
Be not of this world. The Lord said that. Be not of this world. Be not of this world. The Lord said that, man. Yeah. All this wickedness this devil is doing, but he's going to pay for that, man. It's a time for recompense. A time for payback. That's the times we're living in. We're living at that time now. We're living at that time now, man. We're living at that time now that America is going to be destroyed. America, Babylon. Sit down the daughter of Babylon. Sit down in the dust. We at the end of this thing, man. We at the end. This weather right now, like, this shit is crazy. Here it is, this weather's bugged the fuck out. And you got people still playing games. Even in the truth. Playing games. Hands in their pocket, Israelites. You got hands in their pocket. Hands in their pocket, Israelites, man. You reached your destination on your right. All these false flags, these shootings, these killings. You had the shooting in Manhattan. Then you had the one in Denver. You know? You had the one in Denver, which under the Denver airport is a mural of the New World Order, straight up. The New World Order, death. The other I'm worth the death. That was a welcoming death, man. They're welcoming death, because they are of death. These devils are of death. No, but we at the end, we, we definitely are at the end, man. The zombie, the zombieism shit, this hoodoo, this voodoo shit that's going on, this witchcraft sorcery shit that's going on, we're at the end, man. And for people to actually see this weather, and not, and not even question, like, yo, what the fuck is going on? You gotta stay away from people like that, man. Because when the time comes, when the time comes, they're gonna, they're gonna turn into cannibalism, man. Cannibalism's coming back, too. It's in the scriptures. Cannibalism's coming back in a big way. In, the, in a big, scary way. Talk about Halloween. The fear of Halloween. The fear is horror. Fear. Horror and fear. Shit, you haven't seen nothing yet, man. You have not seen nothing yet. There's horrors that's coming here to America, yo. This world's about to see it, though. This world's about to see this horror, man. You know? 70, 70 degrees, November 2nd, 70 degrees? Oh, you, you gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me, man. That's how you know we at the end. The earth is telling you itself. Don't you know the earth the earth is, is preparing for Yahweh Shai's second coming? The earth itself is preparing for Yahweh Shai's second coming, man. The earth itself. You know? And these devils know that. These devils know what time it is. But what spirit are you supposed to be in? You're supposed to be getting yourself right, being serious minded, being circumspect. Being in holy conversations, not into bullshit. Not into bullshit, you know? Bullshit and things of the world. Got guys that's in this world, man. What the fuck is in this world? This world is about to be destroyed. America is about to be destroyed. To save the Lord. America is going to be destroyed. The scriptures say so, man. Yeah, I was shy I prophesied that. That America is going to be destroyed. It started getting destroyed 2,000 years ago when he stepped on the scene. This is modern day Rome. But this second coming is at the door. And when he comes, he's going to destroy this place. But before he actually physically comes, it's going to be all our hell, all our chaos out here, man. It's going to be all our hell, all our chaos, man. So you brothers out there, get on fire, man. You know, fuck the excuses of I don't do sit downs. I don't like doing sit downs. There's no excuses, man. You gotta be on fire. Put up news clips. Put up videos. You don't want to show your face? 
then that's cool. But put up news clips. Inform the sheep that Yahweh Shai said, if you love me, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Be on fire for this thing. I will spit you out. Being on fire. We all can do more. We all can pray more. We all can fast more. We all can edit edify the sheep more. We all can learn more. We're learning daily. I'm, I'm learning daily. I'm learning more and more. There's no excuses. The Lord don't want to hear excuses when he comes back. The Lord wants his money. And like those mob movies, if you don't have if you don't have the Godfather's money, what happens? You get popped. You get whacked. We don't want to get whacked. The two thirds you're gonna get whacked. We wanna make it into the kingdom. Which is soon. Ain't no 10, 5, 15. Are you crazy? Imagine next year. If we're here next year, if it'll be the Lord's will, then it's the Lord's will. It's the Father's movie. But let's say we're here next year, right? Can you imagine how strong the hurricanes are going to be? They might be so strong next year, they might fucking take the whole, all of Florida away. You know? And I tell you, what? What? That's what Paul Bagley be saying. What? What? Paul Bagley. You know, but we definitely at the end. So stay strong. You know, I just got to my destination, but um, I'm gonna uh, uh Lord willing, when I get back on, I'm gonna do another live, man. Keep pushing this live stream, you know. Keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Keep pushing this vibe out. Keep pushing the vibe out. You know, you can't just see it. Oh, it's just a bit. This ain't about you, man. It's about the sheep. You don't know who the fuck is watching. You don't know who's out there. You know, you brothers and sisters out there, get involved. Don't be cheerleaders, man. Get involved. You make signs, make signs. You make make garments, make garments. You know? Do what you got to do, man. Help brothers out. Pray for brothers. Be there for brothers. Brothers get in jams. Help them. You know? Got to get involved, man. Don't be a fucking cheerleader, man. Most guys not dealing with cheerleaders, and we're not dealing with cheerleaders. And all this, uh, 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 we cool, we cool, we cool. Look, man. You got to be good with the Lord, man. You know? Yeah, spread the word. Spread the word out so we can get out of here. The more this word is spread, the more the elect is sealed, the more faster we get out of here. So, I mean, I, I'm not comfortable here, man. You guys out there that's not pushing wholeheartedly because maybe you're comfortable. You don't mind staying here in a couple of more years because you might have a good job. You got a good woman. You know what I mean? You got a nice house. You know, you could be. you comfortable. You go out Saturdays, but you're not really into it. You really, you're really not... Bearing your cross, you want to stay here. The men of the Lord, the house of day were chafed in the spirit, they were vexed in the spirit. We don't want to be here, we want to get out of here. So, Lord willing, I'm gonna go back on the channel when the time comes in a couple. Shalom, stay strong.